Hi everyone, John Jackson here with Pro Edge Paintball. I am back with another weekly product video. Uh, today I have a pretty basic pack uh, paintball harness, but I just want to review it. Uh, we have we get a lot of questions from a lot of newer players out there. So for if your experience, this may seem a little redundant, a little obvious, but for you newer, newer players out there, definitely trying to make a more informative video. And before I get started, if you guys have any specific questions about other products or about these, or maybe you've tried this product before, or maybe one similar to it, and you have some feedback for another player, uh, don't be afraid to leave a comment below. That helps add value to the video, helps add value to other players. If you're like, hey, I weigh you know 160 pounds and I'm 5'3", I love this pack, it fits me great, it's comfortable, it holds up, I've had it for a year. Any helpful information like that really helps, again, other players. You know, they go down there, read the comments, maybe similar height, size, uh, maybe you love it, hate it, whatever. Any of that good feedback, it really helps other players help make their buying decisions. So feel free to comment in there. Keep it nice. Keep it professional. And uh, and yeah, and of course, if you want to give me a shout out, say hi down there. No problem at all. So let's jump into this. So if you've been playing for a long time or for a, a while, you may have seen the NXE brand. Looks like that. So NXE Paintball used to be around over 10 years ago, and uh, the Empire brand owns it, I believe. So they're bringing this brand back. And this is one of their first items. So this is going to be a Empire NXC four pack. It's going to be what they call like a four plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four plus seven. And if you're new to paintball, what that means is we have four main component components or compartments that we can put pods in. And then also we have these little elastic pieces on the bottom here that we can also add another paintball pod in. Uh, these packs are specifically designed for the 140 round and 160, 165 round pods. You can put a shorter 100 round pod inside of this, but it's not made for that. There's gonna be a lot of room jiggling around. It's not specifically designed for that. So if you are if you like this pack and you're looking to put pods in it, check out, my, one of my favorites are the Gen X, uh, Gen X Global 140 round paintball pods. That's what this is here. This is a Virtue Pod, comes in different colors. So do the Gen X, and then this is the HK Army. The reason why I have these is to show you how they fit inside the pack, because each pack is designed a little bit different, and these pods, as you can tell, are a little bit larger, so it makes it more difficult to put in. So this is the NXE 4, 4 Plus 7. There are two cuts on the side, so you can put two on the side. It's got four main compartments. We open that, that up there. It's got quite a bit, that's about four inches, uh, roughly a Velcro, so it looks pretty heavy duty. And one thing to look for nice packs is if it has support right here on the inside of it. So this pack is gonna stay open even after you pull the pod out. So if you're in the middle of the game, you need to put your pod back in, much easier to find that slot there because it's already open compared to a less expensive or a cheap pack that doesn't have that basically support and design on the inside. And that goes, that actually goes all the way to the top. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Um, a lot of them just have it around the top piece here or the, sorry, the bottom of the pod pack uh, to keep the hole open and up here not so much, but that feels like it goes all the way to the top. So it seems very, very sturdy on that one. So throw this 140 around in there. Good to go. Pretty straightforward, slides in pretty easy. So again, four pi uh, four main pods, 140 rounders. Um, got the little straps on the side and then I'll show you the back. So one thing the NXE packs were known for were like, they're one of the first packs I think out there that added a lot of padding, a lot of support. So this does have a Velcro belt system. So this is very similar to like a workout belt, kind of like that. So it has the two outside Velcro straps um, that have elastic. So once you put this on, you're able to pull this tight and keep it tight. And this is your main compartment that goes on here like this. And then again, these pieces pull tighter to kind of tighten it up. <clears throat> so in this pack, you see you've got quite a bit of padding and you see the elevation of that. So it's got a lot of back support inside of there. And the actual padding here is pretty thick and heavy duty. So it's not gonna be real flimsy. I have had some feedback on here. So people don't like how how stiff they are when they're brand new, um, which is not a bad thing, but over time they definitely break in, the belt system breaks in and loosens up a little bit. So I've talked to some of the players, these have been out a couple months now, um, and so they seem to like them, but again, they have a pretty big sturdy back. So if you like back support, um, then this might be perfect for you. So check that out there. <clears throat> they are available in the four plus seven, and then also, try that again. There we go, four plus seven, and then a five plus, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 pods total is what that what you're looking at on that one. Again, uh, what's nice about this, and Tony, I give credit, um, Tony shop at our store here. 
one of his points was he likes his pack because he is he says he's a little bit bigger guy and so he likes a little bit bigger pack and so because of course this adds an entire other loop here it extends the total length of the belt system so if you're a larger guy you just got about another two to three inches um, on the belt length and so you can try that on and fit there so uh, he is same for me I'm about a 36 waist he's about 36 waist uh, as well and both of these fits no problem so i think this would fit all the way up to about a 40 a 40 inch waist maybe even 42 inch waist possibly uh, if you're local to our store swing by try it on you can definitely do that and see if you like it um, but both packs are made for adults so we really like that a lot so again you've got your five paws there same thing the five pack comes with a nice sturdy uh, opening there so let's go and try the virtue pod so you can see that doesn't slide in as easy <clears throat> but it still does again it goes all the way to the elastic up top here is so that way whenever you're trying to pull your pod out it actually is kind of pressing on that pod the whole time good to go there and let's go ahead and try our hk1 in next to it slides in no problem these are a little more stiff but one thing i do like is there's plenty of velcro still here when you're trying to put that on there so that pod's not going to fall out on accident because some bigger pods they only latch just like you know pod packs that don't have a little bit of velcro like that and they fall out this one here i can pull even higher i'm good to go <clears throat> so you're looking at virtue hk army these are the larger like 160 i think we're 150 160 rounds and of course you've got this easy peasy gen x pod 140 rounders good to go straightforward so i like the pack like i said the feedback's been real nice so far everybody likes it um these are currently only available in black uh, we do have them coming in blue and red so those will be in available i don't have those in yet so i'm going to show you that too so again you can hold the five main compartments and then also the elastic here uh, the only downside with this if you accidentally hit the lid it can't open a pod so you might want to go with the nicer pods that have the latch because these pods don't have a strap to hold them together but you're looking at your five pack there of course your four pack pretty straightforward on that remember back support all that good stuff uh, these run Yep, so four plus is $59.95, and the five plus is gonna be $64.95. Uh, again, one of my favorite packs, solid black, again, is, is the only downside. Now, we do have another model of this that we haven't done. It is available on the website. It has like a skull print on it, and they come in a bunch of different colors. It's the same build as the pack, it's just different printing on the outside of it. So you can check those out. These are both currently available on our website, prohpb.com. It's a brand new website if you haven't, if you haven't been on there. We keep much better inventory compared to what we used to as far as live inventory on that. It's live, updated pretty much every 10 minutes from in-store versus online. So as we receive it. Also, if you find something on there that's out of stock, make sure, make sure you go ahead and add your cell phone number on there or email address and it will alert you immediately as soon as we check that product back in stock. So you get live immediately. Sometimes they go qu real quick on that. So keep an eye on that one. So um, other than that, pretty basic. Again, a pack is a pack. Uh, again, the feedback so far, I've talked to players that have had them since the beginning. They do like them. They have held up so far, but I haven't talked to anybody that has had it for a year. So that'd be the big, the next question. How long will they last, uh, you know, if you're playing all the time? So, but from the construction of it and the quick, the early feedback, extremely happy with it. I think the price is fair exactly for where it should be. HK Army, uh, make another pack. I believe it's the Eject pack. I believe they're $59, $65, $69, about the same price. Um, and they come in printed very similar build seems like similar quality so i think these guys i think empire and nxc price these exactly where they need to be uh, for what you're getting so if i missed anything please comment below if you've tried it out comment below give us some feedback on it uh, even if you're watching this video down the road uh, and it's been a year go ahead and give a shout out you know hey look i picked that pack up i love it still worked for a year or hey it fell apart on me you know we don't really know yet so uh, but yeah any questions comment below thank you guys so much for watching please like our video it helps our video show up to other players like yourself that might be looking and shopping for new paintball gear uh, so go ahead and hit that hit like on the video we appreciate that and don't forget we do offer uh thursday videos or try to do two videos a week a tech video on tuesday and a product review video every thursday so depending on when we watch this we took a small break from videos but hopefully we're getting back into that so again any questions comment below or reach out to us on social media at pro edge paintball I answer all those questions, anything you need. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks.